Hey guys, today we get to look at a unique card, and the reason it is so unique is due to what has happened to the price point. So the card used to be around $2, and there was a point, as you can see from the map, it hit over $10,000. Now, obviously this is not a real price, this is just one vendor putting $10,000 in TCG player, and then having the Omi stock. I find it still kind of crazy how the markets can be manipulated. Obviously, no one's going to pay $10,000 for a card, but at the same time, they can spike a card a tiny bit less. And the first time I really saw this in practice at a large, from a large vendor was Star City Games with the enemy fetch lands. If you can believe it, at one time they were like $10 for pretty much all the five enemy fetch lands. Star City Games purchased all of them from the vendors, the other vendors on TCG Player, online, all over the place, and then they raised the price to $25. Now, $25 actually turned out to be an okay price for most of them. However, it is something that we, as players, experience. Uh, and this is just a very unique example and a great experiment. Uh, whoever did this, good on them for this experiment because they picked a bulk card from a commander deck, which will definitely be reprinted in anthologies. So it's a card that will 100% get a reprint soon, if not from another commander set of some type in the future. But due to commander anthologies, this will be reprinted and it's... I guess it's okay, it's an okay card, but $10,000 it is not. It's funny to see it though, and funny to see that spike because you don't see that all that often. Anyway, <laughs> let me know if you guys want me to run an experiment like this. Uh, I can open the store and then we can buy out a card from a commander con and then I'll show you the results of what happens. Uh, which reminds me, I should update my Narwhals. I was able to sell a playset of Narwhals. Uh, so I'm actually in the positive right now. Bye, guys.